Hello there, time to make a check in a box with Lamprima Adolfine. It was a pair in here a long time ago, April 15. And uh, today when I was looking through the box, I've seen that there's already a lady out here. This blue one. And of course if you disturb them, they play that. They don't move anymore, but as soon as they are exposed to the light sometimes they feel a little uncomfortable and start to run away from the light. Typical blue one. Nice female of Lamprima Adolfine. And of course we can also have a look into the box. Just before when I had a look I seen a larva here. Now it dive down. Oh, here you see part of it here. Underneath this wood. Oh, here's another one, big one. So let's see how many of them we find and what we are going to do with uh, them. I have some kimchi prepared for the final stage for them, so I hope they will have a good, good substrate to uh, come to the final stage. They look already quite big here, the larvae. And one female is already out, so I have to find a male, but uh, my friend Etienne, he has already two males, so we can prepare already the next box for the next uh, generation. They are really easy to keep if temperatures are okay for them, must be a little bit up to 23 to 25 degrees Celsius would be very nice for them. So, I think for the female here, I put her into a box with the wood pieces that I find here. Oh look also here. It was just a, it a larva, just looking out of the substrate and underneath this wood piece. So probably they wanted to gnaw on this uh, oak piece here. And it seems like there are more here underneath these pieces of wood. So the female, I uh, give her a nice little jelly here. And I put her in there, so she can... Uh, she's as soon as you take her, she's quite active. But then when she f falls down, oh here, we can put her on the beetle jelly. I think she would move, move away a lot. Now for the check of the larvae. That looks really interesting here. And I also, also have to find something where I can put all the larvae together. This is the kimchi I prepared for the larvae. It's made with the flamingo oyster mushroom with its red strain. And I just want to put the larvae into this kimchi. Of course you can compress it quite well here, the substrate. And if you want you can prepare some uh, holes and you can put in the larva so they can dive down into the substrate. So I would place around six of them probably here if I find so many, but it looks like I found I find so, even more of them than six. Because already here is one. And now let's see where the others are. Oh look, already two, three. Yeah, the substrate looks good for Lomprimo. Also this piece of oak wood here. We can put into the box for the female later on. Another one here, number four. But there's not much wood left here, so probably they are happy that they can go into this kimchi box now. And they came up to the surface of the substrate also, because probably here it was a little bit too wet. Uh, for them in this kind of substrate. Oh, here's a pupa uh, of a male. So 
this one we must save and and look that that we can save the pupa here. Also probably should go to the substrate and see whether we find some pupil chambers already of the oh here's another larva. Oh, this is the pupa here. I will put it into this kind of a peat pot and let it there. Yeah, it still leaves. I see it. So this is a male, of course. And I put it into the box where I also have the female then. And I hope, of course, it can develop here and finish. the development to a nice male of Lamprima Adolfine and these are the these are the five L3 larvas now for them I just cover the substrate with some of the old material be careful not to add too many worms into this or better would be none of them at all into the substrate So that I think they have a good substrate here with the kimchi and on the top a little bit of their old substrate so they can finish their development in this box and I also don't need the other kimchi bottles that I prepared filled with sawdust uh, grown through with the mycelium of Pleurotus pulmonarius and uh, that's all for the moment. Of course, right on it, what it is. Save the female in this box also. So that she can eat something. That's all for the moment. Ah, oh, you want to see the production of the kimchi? Some people ask me I should add a video about the production of kimchi. Let's go to see it. It's just downstairs at the end at work. So, there you have a, you can see how we prepare the kimchi, Etienne at work here, talking about kimchi production, oh it's a lot of damp here, you see it on the camera lens, so he's mixing the peach sawdust with water, just before mixing it then with the mushroom spawn and after the mixing with the mushroom spawn it comes into kind of packs like this you don't see anything it's just only so now these are the kimchi packs here a mixture of sawdust and mushroom spawn and after it's grown through it looks like this completely uh, overgrown with the mushroom mycelium and then you can put it into bottles or you make it with this method so that you fill the bottle with the substrate sterilize it in an autoclave and then cover it on the top with a little bit of mushroom spawn to go through the substrate so that's the laboratory here just to show you how the kimchi is made. Thanks, Etienne. Have a good work.